Hello guys, welcome to the review of Call of Duty World at War for the PlayStation 3. Love it. Any word on supplies? They're coming. When? Um, I don't know how far I am, but um, I think I'm pretty close to completing the game. So, mostly every weapon in Call of Duty 3 will be in Call of Duty, for, Call of Duty um, World at War, but the controls in Call of Duty 4 make a return in Call of Duty World at War. The graphics, spectacular, they're using a Call of Duty 4 engine. They use this the flamethrower, love it. Oh, just died. I'm doing this on normal difficulty so I don't die, but of course, you gotta die anyway. Let's do this a different way. The flamethrower is really awesome in this game, and it really reminds you of how um, deadly World War II was. I'm not sure if they had flamethrowers in World War II. Probably a stupid question to ask. But you can drive tanks in Call of Duty World at War. And the tanks do have flamethrowers um, on them. So, I don't know if they're just doing that for fun. Or not. Damn it. Sorry for that. I love Call of Duty World at War, and you'll love it too if you ever played Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Um, even though Infinity Ward went back to Call of Duty, um, went back to the World War II experience, they made it more violent and more exciting than its previous predecessors. There's a lot more blood, and if you shoot a guy in the head, his head does explode. See like that, that guy just exploded. I don't know if you clearly saw that. Or not. Anyway, let's continue on. The levels are much more um, much more realistic. And the everything is just much more realistic than Call of Duty for Modern Warfare. It's raining and your gun gets wet. And you see raindrops in the uh, fountain or the river. Well, And it's really nice, you know, it's it's just all really nice. I don't know if you can see this clearly. Or not. Um, anyway, I'm playing as an American right now. You also play as a, a Russian fighting against the Germans. An American fighting against the Japanese. And wow, it is raining outside. Whoa, it is pouring. Is that hail? Oh my god, it's hail. Hail's outside. Hold on. Dude, it's all hail. Damn, I'm gonna die. Let's 
nowhere. Whoa. I'm supposed to light this thing up right here? Oh, and I just died. That's all it... Wow. This guy's inhaling. That's all I really have to say about Call of Duty, the campaign mode. Um, definitely go buy it. Definitely go buy this game. Um, it's the best Call of Duty game I've... Well, it's the most violent Call of Duty game I've ever played in my life. I mean, Call of Duty 4 was something, but this is everything and more. Come see part two for a review of Call of Duty for of Call of Duty World at War for a sneak peek at the returning the you know the multiplayer and everything. This multiplayer really set the bar for this game. Okay guys, so come back.